Jingle my bells, jingle my bells, jingle all the way. Why I'm singing that? I'll show you. And it jingles! What's the crack? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, just forget the back. So the question for today is... Christmas curiosities in Ireland and Portugal. Let's talk about some differences and similarities that I remember from Cork. There are several traditions that are Irish or were adapted to, to, the, to Ireland. Uh, one of them is the 12 pubs where a group of friends go to 12 pubs and they have to drink one pint on each pub. So I'm not sure if you have done that, what do you think about that, but what I think is, okay, I probably could do that. I probably would be on the 8th pub and I was seeing Santa earlier. You understand what I'm saying? So it means 12 pints. Each pint is 500 milliliters. So imagine 12, it's 6 liters. 6 liters is not too bad. Okay, I could do that. But, but I now, now thinking about that, 12 is too much, but 6 liters is okay. I drink more than that. No, but I'm, I was thinking, have you ever done the 12 pubs? I would like to do that. Another thing is giving some biscuits to Santa. But there are people that don't give some biscuits to Santa, leaves their Guinness. So another thing is if you go to a pub at this time and if you listen this song, and if you listen the fairy tale of New York, everyone hugs and even if you don't know, even if you are enemy during all year, they are there dancing and singing this song. I'm going first to explain why I'm dressing like this. This makes part of the Christmas Jumpers Day. What happened here in Ireland is we dress it up. We used to donate some money for charity for other organizations. The Christmas Jumpers Day was created by an organization non-governmental from UK, not from Ireland, but Ireland then took them the spirit. In every place, even in Portugal, as far as I know, we used to uh, decorate all the, the places with Christmas lights and at home we used to, to, to grow the Christmas tree. There is one curiosity here in, in Cork, at the end of November, usually, they set that day for turn on the Christmas lights. They put a stage, people will there perform something related to Christmas. Then at one time the children is there and start to call Santa, 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 really excited. Santa appears and then uh, people start counting from 10 to 0 until when it's 0. The Christmas lights just turn on. This. In terms of food, the majority of people in Portugal eat cod, of course, and octopus. Yeah, it's strange, but the people eat that. There are people that eat lamb, there are people that eat rooster, oh, and sometimes turkey because of the influences. But the typical one is or cod or octopus. In Portugal, they have um, the Midnight Mass, but we used to call that the Rooster Mass. There is a legend, that's why it's the Rooster Mass, that is, while there was the Midnight Mass, the rooster started all to sing. I don't know how it's called in English. Or, there are another uh, theory, or legend for this, that because it's at midnight and when it finished, the roosters are starting to wake up like at five and starting to sing. So what do you think about these traditions in Ireland? Do you have any other questions for me? Just send me a question with the hashtag AskThePortuguese. I will be here for answer your question.
Jingle my bells. Jingle my bells. Jingle my bells. They have some parti particular... Particular. É brasileiro. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. So, we are all festive. We call that the roaster... Um, rooster, roaster, ro the rooster mass in Portugal as well as as well in Portugal as well as as uh, happy Christmas everyone, happy Christmas to you that you are watching, and congratulations you are watching me, happy Christmas. If you like this video, just click on thumbs up. If you have something to say, leave a comment. But don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Bye.